Hello YouTube, it's your Sunday and I'm going to be talking about my music taste today. Now there is a lot to go over as uh, most of you may have guessed. I do have a very diverse taste in music while mostly dark in nature. I've written out three different lists of um, music that I enjoy or listen to rather. Um, they are going in the order of love, like, and eh. Eh is not really, I don't like the music per se, it's that it takes very special circumstances for me to listen to and enjoy this music. When I say music, I don't mean genres, I do mean artists because I'm not going to go into the intricacies of genres and subgenres and whatnot, so I'll save you all that trouble. Anywho, let's get started with the love category, shall we? My very, very favorite band, I would say, is Depeche Mode, although most of you who have me on Facebook already know that. I went to see them back on September 1st. Needless to say, it was an amazing show. They've been, like, in the business for over 30 years, so they really know how to work a crowd, and also they really know how to write a damn song. They also have such a diverse range of music because of all the different albums they put out over the years, so I always find something new when I'm listening to them. Now, I'm gonna stop myself before I continue to carry on and on and on and on about Depeche Mode. <laughs> the Birthday Massacre is my second favorite band. Um, I really enjoy their sound because of how unique it is. Even though there are bands that are somewhat similar to it, it I can never find a sound quite like theirs. I'm also gonna say that I did meet them. They are lovely, fantastic, amazing people. Um, I'm really proud of the fact that I share a hometown with them. They're all from Toronto and I got pictures with them. I got to meet them. I got their autographs, all that. So it was a jolly good time for all. If you haven't checked out or heard of the Birthday Massacre already, please, please do. They are an amazing band. Now for my third favorite band, uh, it's, it's The Cure. I am aware that most, if not all, of the other lovely ladies on this channel do enjoy The Cure because I've seen most of their videos already. So I'm gonna keep this short. It's like the same thing with Depeche Mode. Like they have so many different sounds and they've released so many albums that I find it very hard to get tired of listening to them. They're also really fun to paint to because they're dark and at the same time I find them comforting. So usually when I'm painting, I'm painting to the cure. Finally, out of the stereotypical goth bands, uh, I took the liberty of uh, listing my very favorite one, which is the Sisters of Mercy. I love, 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 love the Sisters of Mercy. They have the best sound out of all of them, in my opinion. Remember, this is my opinion. You don't have to think it's the best, but I do. Out of all those post-punk genres, sort of, I really like their sound the most. Now I'll just recite the rest of my love list. Culture Club, Joy Division, The Mission UK, Bauhaus, Duran Gray, the Tea Party, another Canadian band, by the way. Rammstein, Nine Inch Nails, The Ramones, London After Midnight, Him, Christian Death, White Zombie slash Rob Zombie, Specimen, and Cinema Strange. Cinema Strange is another one of those bands that I don't think gets enough recognition. Um, they're a gothic, death rocky-ish kind of sound. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the sub genres and subgenres, but I'll let you discover them for yourself. Now we're into the, the likes list. This is music that I occasionally listen to. I don't frequently listen to them, but I still find them to be some of my favorite artists out there. We're gonna start with the Eurythmics. Next we have Tom Waits, who I think it doesn't really have a prevalence in the gothic community. He's very strange, like as in he has a very strange and unique voice. It, it, he's either an acquired taste or just something you, like a certain type of person gets into. I will play a clip of one of his songs right here. Taking up the tent, the shovel and the pick It's a job, it's a job Money moon rising with the plague and the fight Doing the bomb, doing the mob It's all over, it's all over As you can see he has a very raspy, like I smoked a hundred pack of cigarettes yesterday, what bitch kind of voice. So I don't know. I enjoy, his, I enjoy his music. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't, but um, he does have a following and I do like the sound. So also Bloody Dead and Sexy. Uh, that's another, well, I'm pretty sure it's a death rock band. Um, how would I know? But anyways, it's a death rocky band that doesn't get enough recognition. Um, they're not very well known, but they are very, very good. I've used one of their songs in one of the videos on my personal channel. Don't ask me which one. I do not remember. Now for the rest of my music likes. Soft Cell, Tiamat, Malice Miser, Jack Off Jill, Astro Vamps, Typo Negative, Soper Eternus, and the Ensemble of Shadows, The Misfits, Alien Sex Fiend, The Birthday Party, Rancid, 
Aesthetic Perfection, Apoptigma Berserk, Combi Christ, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, Fear Cult, Demu Borgir, Echo and the Bunnymen, and the Virgin Prunes. Now for the eh category. You can't just say eh, by the way. It's eh. Just imagine you're opening a creaky door or something. I, I digress. Again, these aren't bands that I don't like. It's just, they, like I said, it takes this very special circumstance or a very rare occasion for me to actually be listening to them. Um, anyways, let's get, on, let's get on with the list. I'm going to start with Godspeed You, Black Emperor. Um, I'm going to do a little spotlight on them because they don't, uh, a lot of people that I know don't know exactly who they are. They're what's called a post-rock band, which is like, I'm not sure, experimental rock with um, not a lot of singing, not a lot of vocals involved, just uh, the pure instruments and conveying a feeling with instruments alone. I basically only listen to them when I paint because they're just so heavy and so inspiring that if I'm doing anything else, I'm gonna want to paint afterwards anyway, so it kind of defeats the purpose. It went like this. The buildings toppled in on themselves. Mothers clutching babies. Next I have the Smiths. I know, the Smiths is in her eh category. Well, just to make it short, it's newfound popularity within a certain group uh, turned me off of this band a bit. Also, I was listening to them too, far too much at one point, so I'm getting quite sick of them. Uh, eventually I'll loop around and like get into them again, but for, for right now I don't really like them that much. Bring on the hate mail, people. The rest of the bands in my eh category are Noctamar, Behemoth, Cannibal Corpse, Bjork, Tool, the Smashing Pumpkins, Blue Tangle, The Crew Shadows, Cradle of Filth, and Mogwai. So yeah, those are all the artists I find myself listening to uh, on a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever basis. And I'm always discovering new music and I'm always looking for like expanding my horizons and looking for new bands to listen to. That's why I can't say that I can listen to a, a band for the rest of my life really because if I don't take a break every now and again, I do get sick of it. Like that's how I am, but a lot of people aren't like that. So who am I to judge? So that's it for Sunday's video of the week. Tune in tomorrow when Monday talks about a brand new category. We just made a like page on Facebook, so if you want to click the link I put in the description, you'll find our lovely, lovely like page. And if you could do that and show your support, that would be great. I'm going to thank everyone who has supported this channel from the start, and we're really starting to take off and finding our feet. So anyways, I'm rambling. Bye, guys.